Hey guys, Daniel here from the Gig Rig, and today I'm going to show you how to control your amp channels using G2's remote switches. Today we're using a Mesa Boogie Mark V to show you just how easy it is to control your amp channels with G2. Right, so on the back panel of G2, next to the effects loops, we have the inputs for the remote switches. The top jack is the input for remote switches 1 and 2, and the bottom is the input jack for remote switches 3 and 4. These are accessed using a stereo TRS cable. Today we're using remote switches 1 and 2 to control the amp's channels, and 3 and 4 are going to control the amp's solo boost and EQ selection. Okay, so on the back of the amplifier we have the external switching jacks. Okay, left hand side is the channels, right hand side is the solo and EQ selection. Now, the leads from G2 look like this. They are the stereo TRS quarter inch cables. We simply need an adapter to connect these to the amplifier that goes from the stereo to two mono cables. Okay, they plug into the channels, left hand side. This goes to remote switches one and two, and then the right hand side, the solo and EQ selection, will go to the remote switches three and four. Uh, these adapters are available on our website. Okay, there we go, all connected up. It's that easy. You can see here the tip and ring, numbers one and two. Okay, neither of these are selected at the moment, so I have my clean channel. Okay, if I turn on number one, you can see it automatically goes to the dirty channel. Okay, if I turn off number one, turn on number two, it goes to the heavy channel. So we now have control over the amplifier's channels using our remote switches here. All right, so I can now select those as part of any preset. Okay, so I can have one for my clean sound. Another two, dirty sound. Number three for the... Uh, Heavy sound. Now this is not using any pedals, this is just using the channels of the amplifier. Okay? Right, let's look at the remote switches three and four. Number three is controlling the solo boost. Okay, so we're on the clean channel now. If I put on number three, it brings in the solo boost. And that's the same of any channel. If I'm on number two. So, by kicking in number three, it brings the solo one. Now what I can do is I can actually assign that to any foot switch, and in stop box mode, I can just kick that in no matter where I am. So if I'm on a rhythm sound, and I just want it to be a bit louder, I can just boost it with a foot switch set up in stop box mode, and it's really easy. Just go to the foot switch I want to use in stop box mode, okay? I turn on the feature that I want to turn on, which is uh, number three, the solo boost. Then I hit stop box mode. Okay, and that's it. See the little yellow light comes on next to the foot switch? It tells me that foot switch is set up in stop box mode. Okay, so now, if I go to my clean channel, hit number eight. Okay, we'll go to the uh, dirty channel. Hit number eight, and it brings a solo sound in. Okay, so I can hit one button, turn on some chorus and some delay. Then hit another button, go to a dirty channel, throw on some treble booster and uh, some octave. Button, turn on the clean channel. Okay, so all your effects pedals, all of your amp channels, everything is completely under control with G2.